Hi, in this video we'll practice calculating the four key profitability ratios. Feel free to grab a pen and paper and work through them with me too. In addition to measuring profits, businesses want to measure the profitability of the business as well. They want to see the amount of profit that can be made relative to the revenue or investment. So get ready to answer questions with me on gross profit margin, operating profit margin, net profit margin and ROCE, which is return on capital employed. Gross profit margin. The gross profit margin shows the gross profit made on sales revenue. Gross profit is earned before direct costs are deducted. What counts as good gross profit really depends on the type of business. Higher profit margins are preferred though because it means that more gross profit is being made per one pound of sales. Gross profit margin can be improved by increasing prices and or reducing the direct cost of sales. To calculate the gross profit margin you divide gross profit by revenue and you times by 100. The answer will always be a percentage. You're required for this activity to calculate the gross profit margin for year one and year two. So if you'd like to pause the video, then you can do so now. Okay, let's proceed to calculate the gross profit margin for year one. So year one and the gross profit is £5,212. Divide that by the sales revenue, which is £19,426 times it by 100 and the answer is 26.83%. Year two, the gross profit for year two is £5,323. Divide that by £23,000 times that by 100 and our answer is 23.14%. Operating profit margin. This is profit after all expenses or indirect costs have been deducted, but before tax and interest are paid. It is a better measure of business performance. It is used to measure a business's pricing strategy and operating efficiency. This profitability ratio gives an idea of how much a firm makes before interest and taxes on each pound of sales. calculate operating profit margin, you divide operating profit by revenue and you times by 100. So you can give this task a try if you'd want. You can pause the video now. So we're required now to calculate the operating profit margin for business A and business B. So for business A, we would divide £50,000 by £85,000, the sales revenue, and we times it by 100. The answer is 58.82%. Now on to business B. So that would be £50,000 divided by £110,000, the sales revenue, times by 100. And the answer is 45.45%. Another operating profit margin calculation. So we need to calculate the operating profit margin for 2020 and for 2021. It's always important to ensure that your formula is written down, it's within your workings and that you are showing stages within your workings. 2020, let's calculate that one first. So the operating profit is £1,243 and we divide that by the revenue which is £11,123, and we times that by 100. And the answer is 11.17%. And for 2021, the operating profit is £1,373, and the sales revenue is £12,164, and we times that by 100. The answer is... 
So we can see from 2020 to 2021 that the operating profit has increased slightly. There will be another video on analysing these ratios. Do look out for it. Net profit margin. This is the fraction of every pound spent by customers that the company keep. A high net profit can be attractive to shareholders as it might indicate that they may receive high dividends. This can also attract potential investors. The net profit margin takes into account all business costs and exceptional items and is usually calculated before tax is deducted. Net profit margin. The formula for net profit margin is net profit divided by revenue times by 100. Hopefully you've noticed that there's a similarity with the formulas that we've looked at so far. Now we're required to calculate the net profit margin for Candy Andy Sweets. In 2020, Candy Andy Sweets net profit was £20,000 and the revenue was £71,000. You are required to calculate the net profit margin for the business. Pause the video if you'd like. So we know that the net profit is £20,000. Divide that by £71,000. Times that by 100. And the answer is 28.16%. Did you get it right? Another task. Now, you could be required to calculate more than one profitability ratio, let's say, at a time. So, let's practice that. The data above has been extracted from the firm's income statement for last year. Using this information, calculate the following for the firm. Gross profit margin, operating profit margin, and net profit margin. So, the first thing we do is put the formula down for gross profit margin. So that's what we're going to focus on answering first. So that's gross profit divided by revenue times by 100. So you can pause the video now if you'd like and attempt to answer the question. So the gross profit is 3 million and the revenue here is 5 million. And we times that by 100. And the answer is 60%. Now let's calculate the operating profit. So it's operating profit divided by revenue times by 100. And the operating profit in this instance is two million pounds. Divide that by the revenue, which is five million pounds and times it by 100. The answer is 40%. Now on to net profit. So that's 0 0.7 million divided by five million times by 100 and the answer is 14%. Return on capital employed. Return on capital employed is regarded as the most important profitability ratio. This profitability ratio allows managers and shareholders to see how much money is made by the business in comparison to the money that was invested into the business. The higher the ROCE, the better. It is crucial to compare the ROCE with the Bank of England's bank rate. The ROCE should always be more than the interest rate that investors would get if they put their money in a savings account. The formula for ROCE is operating profit divided by capital employed times by 100. Capital employed refers to the resources a business has available to help the business make its operating profit. Let's look at this scenario. A firm has 19.5 million capital employed and an operating profit of 3.56 million. Calculate the firm's return on capital employed. You can pause the video and give it a go. We have our formula down, operating profit divided by capital employed times by 100 and in this scenario, the operating profit is 3.56 million divided by capital employed, 19.5 million times by 100. And the answer is 18.2%. The next two videos that will appear on your screen are the ones that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thanks for watching.